Me answering one of the most important questions I've been getting in the past few days since the beginning of the pandemic, obviously. Have I lost my job? So the answer to that question is... What's up YouTube, it's your boy FlightJV and I'm back with another video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about a serious subject, the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic that is affecting the world right now. And I'm going to be talking about the impacts on the aviation industry and airline pilots and everything that concerns us in that field. So thank you for tuning in again, FlightJV forever, welcome back to the FlightJV Army. Let's get it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to give you some information about the coronavirus. So let's get into it. Statistics I got from the World Health Organization in April 12th, on April 12th. Worldwide, we have 1,771,514 cases. In the U.S., 532,940. Spain, 163,027. Italy, 152,271. So as you can see from these numbers, the statistics are quite big. So this disease is to be taken seriously. So we have to take the appropriate measures to be able to prevent this from happening to us and our family. So the COVID-19, okay, it's an infectious disease caused by a new type of virus that's basically been recently found on human beings. And it's a respiratory disease akin to the flu. So basically it causes coughing, fever, shortness of breath, and uh, gastrointestinal problems in certain people. Obviously in severe cases, you might die. So that is the reason why all these governments around the world are taking action to lock down their countries and, and um, introduce travel bans to prevent people from spreading it more than it already has. So it's kind of an airborne disease, which is what makes it so dangerous. It's, I say kind of because the World Health Organization has not proven that it is yet, but it still travels uh, quickly and is highly contagious. So think of the flu, think of flu season and how easy it is to spread the flu by just shaking hands, talking to each other, sneezing, coughing, etc. So I will give you the uh, lifespan of the virus in different environments. So in the air, uh, it lasts around three hours, copper, four hours, cardboard, 24 hours, stainless steel, up to three days. And in bathrooms, it can last up to nine days. So we have to be very careful because it has to do with moist and cold surfaces. If you share your house with somebody who might be infected you don't want to share the same bathroom as them because that's where the coronavirus will be residing for as long as it can basically so you have to be aware of these things now solutions that can be offered are obviously social distancing stay at home wear a face mask avoid touching your own face stay six feet apart from other people why six feet apparently is the magic number that uh, has to do with when people speak the distance traveled by their spit, six feet is about 1.8 meters. Uh, wash your hands and clean surfaces as much as you can. Now, elderly people and people's underlying uh, conditions already are the most at risk by this disease. But still, even if you're young, you're not immune. So you have to be very cautious and you have to think of the people around you, your parents, people in your family that, you're, that are older. So do not be selfish. And if, you're not, if you do not do it for yourself, at least do it for the other people that are around you in your life. Now, when it comes to Africa, we have a lot less cases. Okay, so let me give you a few examples. In Kenya, there's 216. Burkina Faso, 515. Ivory Coast, Côte d'Ivoire, 638. You have Senegal with 291. Morocco, 1,888. South Africa, 2,415. And last but not least, Tunisia, 747. There's a lot less cases in Africa because of the heat. Apparently, the virus does not uh, spread itself as much in the heat and it does not survive as long. Now, let's talk about the impact on the aviation industry. Now, along with many other businesses and sectors, the aviation industry is one of the most impacted fields, obviously, with travel bans and restrictions being introduced by many different countries and governments. 
Airlines are being tremendously affected. External borders are being closed and non-essential travel are restricted. Now, I want to start with a quote from the Business Travel News that has to do with a uh, message that the International Air Transport Association had to share. Globally, we are experiencing an almost total loss in demand for air travel caused by government-imposed restrictions to travel, rightly designed to combat the spread of COVID-19, but the economic damage to all industries and employment is plain to see. EATA's own estimates are that industry passenger revenues could plummet by $252 billion or 44% below 2019's figure. Whichever way you cut the data, the figures are startling and unprecedented. End quote. So as a consequence, airlines are have to take action and basically have a way to counteract what is happening right now with this COVID-19 virus. So a lot of airlines such as Air Canada and WestJet are are um, temporarily or permanently laying off their employees. Long haul routes are being suspended. Private airlines are going bankrupt. For example, Flybe, unfortunately. Flight schedules are being cut tremendously. Flights to certain countries are suspended, obviously due to lockdown and closed borders. And people are being sent on unpaid leave in places such as Ryanair, for example. So there are deeper consequences stemming from this COVID-19 pandemic and the closure of these uh, borders and these travel bans because it's not just about the money because obviously the money causes people being laid off but also you got to think about everything else that is around aviation when it comes to manufacturers such as airbus and boeing obviously they have to reduce the production and working hours and lay off employees because obviously airlines are not working so they're ordering less and they need less parts so production of aircraft and aircraft parts are being slowed down and people are needed less and less so deeper con consequences as well is that pilots are grounded, they're losing their routines and they're losing their habits, they're losing their currency on the aircraft, and licenses are still running. So licenses are still getting closer and closer to their expiry date, and nothing is happening. Nobody's flying, nobody is actually working, and it just makes everything more complicated on a safety standpoint and also financially for the airlines. So that's the main problem that is affecting airline pilots really. Okay, so you have aircrafts that are underground as well. Obviously, with airlines working on a skeleton fleet right now, using only a small portion of their aircrafts, you have all these aircrafts that are not generating any type of revenue, not being profitable to the airline underground, and resources still have to be deployed um, for these aircraft to be maintained by engineers on the ground. So that's one of the main problems that airlines are facing. Okay, now when it comes to passengers, the side of the passengers, less and less of them are obviously willing to actually travel via airlines because they don't want to be contaminated during flight they don't want to have any problems during this whole pandemic which makes sense they want to be close to their families etc etc now that's causing cancellations of flights or unprofitable flights with people that are not showing up or just really small number of passengers on flights some flights have been done in the past few weeks completely empty and it's just not good for the aviation industry, okay? Now people are asking for refunds and most airlines are offering vouchers to try to counteract this and offering travel credits that have to be used before a certain time, but it's still kind of a hard situation for airlines. Now due to all these canceled flights, um, these, canceled, yeah, these canceled passenger flights, the cost of sending cargo has increased a lot because there's so many less flights that people do not have many options to be able to send their packages elsewhere. So. Um, a lot of airlines right now are prioritizing these cargo flights. Airlines such as um, Ethiopian Airlines in Africa, for example, uh, are using a lot of their aircrafts and turning the seats into just ways of putting merchandise and transporting it. Some other airlines are, are actually just taking their passenger aircrafts and removing the seats completely to use the whole thing as a cargo aircraft. Okay, so they're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. It is still not bridging the gap financially, but it is something, it is a start and it is a solution. Now on the bright side, okay, let's not just focus on the negative. On the bright side, what do we have? We have aviation authorities such as EASA that are trying to help pilots who are losing their licenses uh, during these hard times and uncertainties by, may, by um, basically not letting the licenses expire completely but offering revalidation upon re-entry to the pilots after this pandemic is over so basically somebody whose license is expired right now would go to a normal sim and have it revalidated as if it had never expired before which is a great solution in my opinion 
so a lot of measures are being taken to counteract this and just be as helpful as possible okay governments in multiple countries are extending support financial support etc extending support schemes uh, to help airlines face difficult decisions uh, regarding their workforce and uh, i quote again uh, another article from btn aviation has always been an engine of economic growth and it will be a critical catalyst for the economic rebuilding when global travel restrictions start to be lifted governments globally need to step up and support this industry they are the first they are first and foremost managing a medical emergency but they also need a plan for the future economic recovery iata believes that industry support must be given more urgent consideration at the highest levels of government now a very important point that i'm trying to make with my viewers and subscribers is this do not be a victim of the circumstance of what is happening right now do not let a bad situation define you and what i'm trying to say is this if your dream is to become an airline pilot do not let yourself fall out of love for this dream because of what is happening right now okay that is not the solution okay a lot of us pilots are grounded for the time being we're now flying it's not a, it's not a good situation for us either but it does not mean that we're thinking about changing careers or just abandoning everything because it's not going our way it's a temporary situation do not make permanent decisions based on a temporary situation okay we might not know when things will go back to normal when they do it is very very likely that a lot of pilots will be required and that will be your time to shine okay so don't let yourself be influenced by people that you do not know on social media on the internet and don't let them make your decisions for you obviously be realistic with the way you're going to do things be realistic with your expectations and actually have a plan on how you're going to make things happen okay but do not let the opinions of others impact the way you live your life because that will lead to unhappiness in the long run okay do not let a temporary problem lead you to making permanent decisions in the words of the late nipsey hustle never let a hard time humble us now let's finish this video with me answering one of the most important questions I've been getting in the past few days since the beginning of the pandemic, obviously. Have I lost my job? So the answer to that question is no, because unlike private airlines and or low cost airlines, I work for a flag carrier, which is government backed. So we are simply grounded for the time being and activities have been ceased. Uh, until the pandemic is eventually resolved okay so i hope that answers your question thank you for asking but i'm doing good and uh i appreciate your concern so fly jv crew take care of yourself okay stay fit take care of your families make sure that you practice social distancing you stay home as much as you can be responsible okay when it comes to your health we all have goals we all have ambitions but all of this is reduced to nothing if we do not have health. Thank you very much for watching the video. COVID-19 cannot stop us. Fly JV forever. Fly JV Army. We are out.